here's what I got for you guys. DIY sharpshooter double end ball. All it really is is a tennis ball and a ball shock power cord. A ball bungee shock power cord, I think that's what it's called. I usually use these for tarps, you know, wrapping it around the, the pole of a frame, you know, and a grommet on a tarp. But not today. Today we decided to make a sharpshooter ball for boxing. I've seen a couple of videos of people doing this, but they were kind of complicated with the way they were running the power cord and knotting it and all that. What you do is you just take your tennis ball and a drill, drill one hole on one side and the other on the other. Take like a Phillips head screwdriver, take your ball bungee, ream it right through both holes, pull it through, and then you take out the power cord that was originally knotted. See this? This is the original knot that was in there. And you fish it out, pull it out, make your make your own knot again, and then pull it tight and make sure that that knot gets in there. Pull this down a little bit, you know, because this this actually see if I can show you. This is free. Like there's the knot I made. Just push that down and then pull this tight through. And there you go. You've got your two ends, two loops. Then you just use whatever kind of power cord or bungee cord uh, how even a uh, braided line for fishing can work you know you still got this flex right here so this is how I have mine set up it's attached to the tenton plate down there yeah so that's probably the best thing about this. You don't need gloves, you don't need wraps, just bare knuckle on it. And that might be great for some of you guys that maybe don't have the money or don't wanna bother, you know, training with gloves and you wanna do bare knuckles, you know, or you don't have the room or money for a heavy bag as well. I even heard from experienced fighters that this is probably a better option or alternative over the heavy bag for new people because of the way it makes you work and have to time and target and you know it's reflexing back so if it, depending on your setup it might come back you can dodge and hit it and stuff like that <laughs> that really does see I missed but that's all for you guys that's all I have for you guys today hope you enjoyed it god bless you I'm out